This is creepy. Yeah, this is creepy. It may look pretty, but it's all sugars. There's no substance. It tastes pretty, Clint. That's all that matters. Ah, the brother. Javi, meet the guys. Clint runs food production. The crops you saw, that's him and his people. Jones, our bridge to the outside world. She handles contact with other settlements. Pleased to meet you, Javi. I trust you've been treated well. I hope you haven't been handled too roughly. Some of our people left their courtesy with their old lives. <laughs> Absolutely. I feel like I'm home at last. I hope Richmond can become your home. I know David would like that. And nothing pleases me more than seeing families reunited. <laughs> we were just about to eat. Clint was trying to convince me of the essential superiority of his cream spinach over my magnificent Black Forest Gateau. It's no contest. The spinach has real nutritional value. Javi, take a look at that table. You tell me what you'd rather put in your belly. Spinach from Clint's garden? <laughs> I mean, or a baked delicacy by yours truly? I mean, it all looks Everything good. looks so good, I, I want it all. So polite, David. You sure he's your brother? Can't trust a diplomat. Always saying one thing and thinking another. Please, make yourself comfortable. I would, would like to eat both of them. We both. value straight talk here, so please, forgive me if I seem direct. Okay. We're usually pretty strict about who we open our doors to. Your brother's word counts for a lot. Is that so? The three of us and Dr. Lingard make all the decisions here, so... Yeah. People who choose to stay with us, they have to deal with us bossing them around. Not saying you wouldn't, but it can be an adjustment. Especially for the more independent-minded. There's no structure out there now. People get used to doing as they please. I always do what I'm told. I ask my older brother. You're gonna fit in well, Javi. I can see that already. When Joan and I met your brother, he was trying his hand at fruit. Fruit? We found him slowly murdering an orchard on the Shenandoah <laughs> River. Body fucking, huh? I helped him bring it back to life. <laughs> we had a good run there. For as long as it lasted. What happened? What always happens. We trusted the wrong damn people. That's what led us to start this. Wondering what this fine piece of body art is all about? I know. It's our litmus test for loyalty. I've seen that mark a few times. You probably saw it at the gates. Right, Javi? Right. We all took it as a sign of commitment. It was a crude answer to a difficult problem, and it hasn't always worked. Please understand. We had a terrible winter just after we moved here. We... we lost a great deal. Loved ones who left holes in our lives. Protecting my people from that kind of pain, that's what keeps me awake at night. It turned me into a perpetual night owl. I know it's a lot to ask, but I never want them to have to experience loss like that again. I know how you feel. Seeing the people I care about suffer. It's a terrible feeling. I just want to shield them from it all. It's a noble aim. One worth fighting for. Max? What are you doing here? I sent for him. Since when does he answer to you? From what I hear, he's well acquainted with your brother. They exchanged a few bullets outside our walls. Is that right? Is there bad blood between you and Max? Nothing that can't be worked out. I want to hear that from Javi. I don't have a problem with him. He's all right by me. Yeah, same here. I don't buy it. Max, how did this start? Don't look at him. You have an obligation to tell the truth. Oh, here we go. You just said don't look at him. We caught him siphoning gas from one of our vehicles. Max. Sorry, David. I know he's family, but your brother's a thief. Is it true? <sighs> Answer her. I was scavenging whatever I could find. I had no idea it belonged to you. If you just asked, we'd have given it to you. I didn't know that you were there. That, that's not all. He shot Rufus. In the back. You did what? We found the body near the wreck of Rufus's truck. That... 
wasn't my finest moment. So you admit it. If I could take it back, I would. This huh. is who you're asking us to vouch for, David? Seriously? You know we can't just open our doors to killers. We're trying to build something different here. Everything I did out there was to protect my people. That's more than I can say for you. I'm not sure what you mean. Ooh, that may have been that may have been a you little bit too aggressive. To <sighs> no. That's it. That's right. He knows what he done. There ain't nothing more to say. Uh, it's clear your brother doesn't belong here. Javi and his people have to go. You're overreacting. It was a scuffle over supplies. Uh, we've exiled people for less. Sorry, David. Your soldiers are already wild enough. We can't add more crazy to the mix. Take Javi and everyone in quarantine to the gate. Give him a pack with a bare minimum to survive. Look, we can't fight this. Not now. Kate and Gabe will be safe here. Your doctor friend, too. But the rest of you, you're gonna have to do what they say. I'm sorry. It's out of my hands. Are you fucking kidding me? Just play along, okay? I'll help you when I can. Just stay alive, okay? Well, I don't like that. You're lucky I don't gouge your fucking eyes out with my thumbs. You hear me, asshole? I hope we get back in there so Trip can do that, because that'll be a great, great moment. David packed this. He did. They said... Start walking. What about Eleanor? Walk. Eat shit. Answer my fucking question. God damn it, Harvey! This isn't her fault, Trip. You're mad at the wrong person. Ah, oh, yeah, I like Ava. Do not fuck this up. Interesting. There's a settlement a few miles west of here. Don't come back. All right, Trip. Did you piss in someone's oatmeal back there? Thought you were gonna play along. Oh, shut up. We trusted you. Ay, Dios mío. Do you ever shut up? Occasionally. Let's just see what they gave us. Knowing them, it's probably a butter knife and a stick of gum. They could have just shot us. More than once. Oh, how fucking neighborly. What's that? It looks like a map. I doubt they give one to everyone. Ava did say David packed the bag. Why the hell is it tied to a baseball bat? David's sense of humor was always poorly timed. Looks like they're expanding. Some of these areas are marked clear. That's why we're going west. Okay. There's Richmond. That helps. But we can't go back there. Knowing where it is lets us know where we are. Pretty sure David wants us to go there. And if this is us here, then I think we can head along this path. Just gotta head north. And to find north, we need to find the North Star. There, the end of the Little Dipper. No, that's the Big Dipper. I was about to say, there's no way I just did that straight that's off it. rip. We need to go this way. What else is in there? Not a whole lot. Flashlight. Not enough weapons. No food. Well, the weapons are more than enough right there. Let's go.
trip. Come on. What's up? I can't lose anyone else. I'm telling you, I can't. Prescott, Conrad, maybe Eleanor. Knock that shit off, Trip. You're better than that. <laughs> we'll see. Come on. <sighs> Sorry, man. Rough day, to say the least. How do you think I feel? I know you got my back. And I got yours. Are you sure about that, bro? After you. I don't know about that now. Homeboy's got a knife. He's mad at me and just goes, yeah, you go first. Those guys just listen to us have that conversation. Oh, yeah, let's walk right into the giant wall.